We are live and this time from uh, Germany and from Switzerland. So Hans and Michael and Jean, welcome. Uh, are you not from Thank Germany? You. you don't you, you don't <laughs> look very you don't look look very German to me at least. So uh, <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> good morning, Hans. A very good morning to you. And good morning, Michael. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, you know, I have been uh, editing a video with you, Michael, so I think I know you very well right now. Uh, that's kind of strange when you're seeing each other on a, on a film, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the first time. <laughs> it's the first time, but you were good at it. Uh, uh, so, Hans, um, uh, a very warm welcome to you also from Hunkel, of course. And uh, I don't know if you know, but we just had a session with uh, Horizon. And um, it's so kind of funny because... There is a few takeaways from all the sessions during the week, and that one of them is that Hunkler is everywhere. <laughs> I mean, if you see if you see a Horizon binding equipment, there's Hunkler. If you see an HP press, there's Hunkler. If you see a screen press, there's Hunkler. Have you just X, sorry, this morning on my Facebook, a reminder came up, and there was a Hunkler a few years ago this time, and it came up on my reminder. So it literally is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well. Usually we would be uh, in Lucerne about right now preparing oh, no. for Innovation Days 2021. Unfortunately, as you all know, due to the circumstances, we had to postpone Innovation Days 21. Innovation Days usually is always in the uneven years. So we plan to have you know, the next Innovation Days now in February 2022 from the 21st to the 24th, which goes actually very nicely inside because Hunkler is able to celebrate 100th year anniversary oh, next wow. year. So mm. we'll have uh, the opportunity, hopefully, <laughs> to celebrate the 100 years of Hunkler together next year in Lucerne around that time. That would so we can have nice. a party. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, funny that you mentioned innovation days because that has also been something that has been mentioned by numerous people during mm. uh, these sessions. And um, of course, when we talk about Inkjet, of course, uh, Hunkler has a very central role because uh, as a uh, as a vendor of binding equipment, you have always been focused on the role-based uh, digital uh, binding equipment. So you have been from uh, the the starting point of transactional to now, uh, also when we see commercial and book printing and things like that, um, that that legacy and that uh, that um, understanding of uh, the challenges must give you a huge advantage in in the changes that we see today. Well. You are right. I mean, Hunkler, we are in it for almost 40 years. So it will actually coincidentally also be next year when we can also celebrate 40 years of digital wow. print finishing. So for 30 years ago now, we started basically installing the first pre and post processing equipment around the uh, Bull printers and Siemens Nixdorf printers and IV. <laughs> remember oh, that. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, uh, we have, of course, quite a, uh, a history and experience around that field. And, of course, to all of us, it's amazing to see how technology has advanced and what Inkjet is being able to do that nobody thought would be possible 20 years ago. And with that, of course, Hunkler is known because we have been in it for quite some time and have very good partnerships with the various companies you mentioned, including uh, Horizon, who had a wonderful presentation just oh, an yeah. hour ago started. Mm. Very nice. Mm. And Michael, um, when you decided to invest in, in Hunkler, and we're going to talk about it and see it also in a moment, but when you uh, invested in Hunkler, how important is, is it for a, uh, a large printing company like your like a Bell Scrafish and Betrieb to also select a, a vendor with the legacy and the history and the, the and all the things that I mean that I take that gives you kind of certainty in your investment? How I mean, how important is that compared to just the equipment? Yeah. Uh, first, I must say that I come from um, cut sheet production. Uh, I was in uh, uh, before I come to Belts. Uh, I was at Konica Minolta, and also I don't um, uh, um, 
I, I have no uh, I have no uh, contact with um, web to uh, or web printing press mm -hmm. and um, since 2017 um, I when, when when I come to belts I I learned web roll uh, the web printing press and so on and also before our uh, new investment in in this area uh, we has also a web press and also hunkler inside uh, our uh, digital area and um, so i began to um, uh, realize that that's a new thing that's inkjet is a new thing uh, i came from konica minolta uh, um, with toner systems and so on uh, also that gives a, a mr inkjet from 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 japan <laughs> i know i know but uh, we not realize that the inkjet is um, uh, the future in the uh, in, 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 in the branch mm. and so i learned with um, my colleagues here that uh, hankela and also uh, and uh, other manufacturers are placed on this side more than more than I know that uh, um, uh, that that toner systems and so on or, or Konica Minolta's was in the in the business. Mm. And um, I know that uh, Angular and also Techno, I, I must say it, uh, is is the the, the first. Um, is the first partner to discussions new new systems and so on and mm. also i learned from hangula very very uh, 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 a, a lot of things and um, i'm also pleasure that that i get this um, informations and and new future science and so on and um, it's it's beautiful to discuss with hangula uh, mm. because um, the the focus and the technology is is really really um uh, um, uh, uh, pro or or or, or uh, perform the future. Mm. And you know, uh, it's uh, funny when you mention, for example, tech now in Hongla. I mean, uh, uh, Hans and I we sometimes tease a little bit with the uh, with the uh, with the Swiss made and the Swiss. I mean, you know, the clockwork and the precision and the quality. <laughs> I, I, I take that uh, that when you have a, a high end book production, you 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 need to have something that is. I mean, just aligned with the uh, with the quality that you're renowned for, right? Yeah. So, uh, so I think that uh, I, I take two take t t I have two takeaways when it comes to Hunkler. It's like no three actually the innovation days uh, for uh, the people, uh, the equipment, and the Swiss chocolate. I have to say that. I'm with you on the Swiss chocolate. <laughs> you've got a very impressive showroom because I was at your showroom probably about eight or nine years ago. And I've got to say, we got the deal, so well done to us and you. But um, you have an extremely impressive showroom and facility um, there too. So, you know, there's also encouraging, you know, people to go and have a look and see what, um, you know, what you have to offer. And see, that is how unfair it is, Jean, because, I mean, you're the one that buy from Hans, so you get invited to his factory, right? See, I'm the <laughs> one that take money away from him. I'm not getting invited to the factory. <laughs> how unfair is it? I'm just asking, right? <laughs> well, there is something to look forward to. One. <laughs> exactly. By, uh, by the way, you can see our showroom in a... We created uh, basically a virtual. I saw the virtual one, yeah. Our, yeah, yeah. On our website of the uh, of our showroom that represents actually the equipment that is there, and you get all the little uh, information buttons uh, that gives you the details about the particular line module, and of course shows you some of the videos of each line. Uh, so that's exactly how our showroom looks like right now it was filmed of course with 360 degree cameras and then uh, you can walk around like in google street in our <laughs> show on our website see, see that's another issue is that when vendors have uh, they can afford better equipment than the media that is going to cover them i mean i'm 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 upset now. So I think we should take it to to where we're actually going to talk about today. Then I I don't have to be embarrassed so much anymore. <laughs> so, guys, um, we made a film from uh, Bell's Graphic with uh, with uh, Michael uh, two weeks ago uh, on a remote basis. So, uh, Michael, you got a secondary job as a filmer for Inkish, right? Ah, um, I don't. I mean, we have. There's a, we have some slides that we're going to talk about today, and uh, you have also some uh, films, I think, uh, that we need to talk about today. Um, I can't remember the sequence. What are we going to do now, Hans? 
Uh, we're gonna start basically with uh, what we have installed at Belt's Graph if you retrieve it. So I, because I think that's uh, really the interesting part of today's presentation uh, in the uh, summarize it with learn with fast on the, on, or under the theme learn with us. I think it's always good to listen to the customer and learn from our customers. Yeah. Um, I just need to see because I have uploaded the presentation, but I th are you going to use the presentation now? And uh, no, we, I think we're going to start uh, with the, the video learn with us from Michael Tuchner. Okay, because uh, I can see I have uploaded the presentation under one of the old Honkler sessions, so I will just re-upload it so we have it ready here in a second. So uh, let's uh, let's see the film with, with Michael. So please turn off your sound and uh, camera, and then we see the little video from from uh, Bell's Graphics. Okay. My name is Michael Tuchscher and I work for the management of Belz Grafische Betriebe. I've been here since 2017 and support the company and my colleagues in optimizing the process and workflow. Also, I discuss the strategy and prepare investments for our future. We are part of Belz Rübelmann Holding with two integrated publishers near Frankfurt. We are located in Bad Langsalza in the middle of Germany where the company have all, uh, was also grounded in um, 1841. Also, two big distributors for publishers are located not far from us. We are a service provider for national and European publishers uh, to produce hard and soft covers and also other publisher products. Uh, we are one of the largest hardcover producers in Germany and our know-how you will find in children books, um, books for science and economy and reference books. In the past we have produced um, 10 or 50,000 books and industry catalogs, trade catalogs, always an offset and always conventional way. In the last years, the requirements from our customers and publishers um, have changed and we are now receiving more short run orders. So this is not our wish or idea to, to, to invest in new production lines. This is a fact to which we adapt our focus and processes in order to ensure our success and future. Our um, printing system, our old printing system and our old um, digital system from Honkolas solution for, for create sheets um, for the conventional way. Our first goal was uh, to replay th the machines and not to optimize the um, production way. Um, and also we go in, uh, in discussion with Hankala focused um, our future on optimized production methods for book blocks and new solutions for bund, uh, bound book blocks straight from the printing press. So now we choose the blow folder, a cutting module and star wheel to prepare the book blocks um, for the perfect binding. And uh, this line can produce in and near line with the printing machine from HP. And also we have a second production line um, where we installed the cutting module from Honkala and also the universe web from Mechanotechnica. No, no, no. End of the year, we get an order from a uh, big publisher in um, Germany. Also, we have great discussions with other publishers in, um, in, in Germany. And so we can add the new solutions uh, for, the uh, for the customer requirements soon and um, very, really early. And so we have um, a lot of discussions for expand our product product portfolio into the digital way and also improve our position against competitors um, that not um, um, make an investment in this time. Yes, 
also we have um, new customers in other branches and so on and uh, always look uh, for 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 customers from from competitors uh, who were standing in roll to roll offset and also in a digital way for um, trade uh, catalogs and so on <clears throat> Not a bad story, right, Hans? Okay. Hans made... Hans, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say... Indeed, uh, very nice uh, case story. I think it represents uh, really one of the leading companies in publishing and printing, uh, how they evolve. I mean, Belt, uh, Michael, you can explain yourself. It's a very old company and it's amazing to see how the company has evolved and what technology has been used throughout the year to be at the forefront of uh, what the market needs today. Precisely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are really a, a, a traditional company for book printing and binding. It's our focus and our main products. In the past, we had different locations in Germany um, where we printed different products and sent them to our binder here in Bad Langsalza. Mm. Um, starting in 2006, we built a new production site here on this place in Bad Langsalza with um, um, 11,000 square meters and concentrated all areas from all over Germany to this one place. And uh, in 2013, I mean, um, we integrated the last area with a digital press or digital printing and also the solution, the old solution with um, with the, with the old press and the little hunkler solution for loose uh, sheet paper, uh, loose sheet blocks. And um, I'm here from um, uh, since 2013, uh, uh, 17, and um, I stay here for. Uh, I, 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 in the beginning, I start with um, process analyze and uh, workflow <laughs> analysis and so on, and uh, I. I come from Konica Minolta with digital printing in, 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 in cut sheets um, systems, but um, I must learn a lot of things inside our, this house. I must learn a lot of um, the systems of, uh, of our um, binder, uh, bindery. We we use systems from Müller Martini and Kolbos. Uh, um, it's, it's, we have uh, two book streets and also we have uh, two big um, uh, perfect binders from um, Müller Martini and Kolbos. It's it's really new things for me and um, it's it's in, in, interested since I, I need three years I think so to get the whole information about um, processes and workflows and so on. Let's um, let's move a little bit ahead. Uh, I actually did upload your presentation, Hans. I just mixed because the, the the cover of your presentation was the same as my video thesis. So I was just like, hmm, did I upload something wrong here? No. So uh, yeah. So Hans, uh, what do you want to? Should we uh, take the presentation now, or should uh, Gene and I leave, and then you manage what you do in your own sequence? Um, well, I would like uh, to show basically also our visitors or the people that follow the session a little bit what different opportunities there are or what different solutions Hunkler can offer mm -hmm. to basically produce book blocks because there is not just one way and not one solution fits everybody. There is really an entire portfolio of solutions and many of them I will, of course, and also relate to Michael, who can actually comment on these solutions <laughs> from experience because Elsis has been using some of the technology in the past and now moved on to more automated technology. And we can certainly give inside information what are the advantages uh, of newer solution or disadvantages. So that we can educate a little bit uh, other printers or companies that are looking at digital print and digital print finishing solution, what may be the steps they have to go through to be successful in using such new technology. Makes sense. 
So uh, what button should I click now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, to bring up the presentation, I think I also can do that. <laughs> it should come up now. Should come up any second here, yep. Yeah. I just uh, try one more time to see if it... Okay, here we are. Gene and I will just turn off our cameras. We will be listening to you, so just uh, say uh, help if you need help, okay? Very good. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, uh, to introduce myself, my name is Hans Good. I'm a VP of Marketing and Partnering at Hunkler out of the headquarter here in Vicom, Switzerland. First, maybe not everybody is uh, familiar with Hunkler. Hunkler is an owner-managed company in the third generation of a family business. We are headquartered in Vicon, just outside Lucerne in Switzerland. And the company was founded in 1922, so almost 100 years old. We are the world market leader in digital production print finishing. Uh, Hunkler had a lot of experience in the graphic arts industry, uh, also manufacturing forms, uh, manufacturing equipment, and has started then offering the first solution for digital print finishing almost 40 years ago. We have a strong market position with about 7,000 installations worldwide that we have uh, really built up over the last 40 years. And for us, one of the key elements also for you is, of course, the partnerships we have with leading manufacturers in the digital print and print finishing industry. So you see all the different names on here for digital, that offer digital printing presses, mainly continuous feed presses, but an important aspect is, of course, also the post-finishing equipment for stitching, perfect binding, and so on. Now, the Hunkler Group, we are headquartered, as I mentioned in the picture on the top left in Vicon, Switzerland. We also have our own manufacturing site, which is basically right next to the building you see on the top left. Uh, so we manufacture basically most of the parts or all the key parts ourselves in Switzerland. We assemble and design everything ourselves in Switzerland. So all of our equipment basically leaves out of our factory in Switzerland uh, to customers around the world. We have uh, our own subsidiary in Germany with of course sales and service and we have our own company located in hong kong which covers basically the asian pacific market uh, for us our strengths are not just in providing the equipment to our customer i think today Digital print finishing solutions consist not only on, on hardware. I think it's very important to offer really the whole service aspects that starts, of course, uh, before uh, a contract is signed to consult with the customer, to offer a customer the right equipment that works for his environment and for his needs. And of course, service ends then, of course, with post-sale service to ensure availability, performance, reliability, durability with maintenance and so on. But it's more than that. We, of course, have to connect uh, different modules, may it be the press, may it be post-processing equipment. We offer, of course, tracking solutions so that the products that are being produced can be monitored and can be tracked uh, to the very end. To the very end means really then all the way to the delivery, to the logistics. 
We need, of course, workflow integration that all the impositioning is done correctly. We have the interfaces to the printer and we offer web inspection solution, which basically checks the quality, the content quality and print quality on each page so that whatever is being produced actually meets the quality standards that customers expect. Uh, maybe what makes us stand out, Morten already mentioned some of the attributes that uh, are often used for Swiss. It's really quality and innovations and Hunkler showcases our innovations every two years at uh, Hunkler Innovation Days. The independence, we are a family owned company partnering with many world leading companies on the press uh, side. And I think also the reliability that Hunkler products are known for to last for many years uh, in the customer environment. The portfolio, Hunkler has an entire range of solutions made up of different modules, starting with basically roll to roll on press, going roll to cut stack, roll to fold solution, roll to fan fold solution, and of course, a variety or a number of different book solutions. And this book solution is what we would like to concentrate on in the next few slides here. I like to start with the first solution uh, to produce book signatures. So this is more or less uh, pretty much a traditional ways. Of course, books have been made for a hundred years, taking a sheet, folding it into a signature. Of course, you can do that also with a continuous feed web system that is connected to a digital printer where the web is basically being fed into the digital printer and then goes into a cross-cutting module where the web is being cut into larger sheets that are then folded down into signatures uh, with buckle folding technology. Um, you can produce, of course, uh, eight page, 12, 16, 18 page signatures, depending a little bit on the imposition and uh, exactly the same what you have seen in the previous presentation by Horizon, who makes, for example, such buckle folders. Michael, I believe you also have had uh, experience with such solutions coming from the card sheet side producing basically signatures that are then collated in traditional collating and binary equipment. Yes, that's right. And um, this was our old systems and our old solution. Um, uh, we have a different um, um, folding system in the, in, in, in the end of the line. But also we we, we produce in, uh, in, in, in web press and printing system and um, take the sheet, uh, as, as, uh, take the cutter, cut sheet systems for um, produce signatures and folding for conventional way. Very nice. Now the next solution is actually also a solution you have uh, installed and used in the past at least. That's the production of loose leaf sheet stacks. As you can see basically on the top right picture so it's basically a system consisting of an unwinder that can feed of course the web again into a inline press or it can be used near line going into a cutter and stack it basically allows to produce of course uh, loose leaf sheet stacks in one up to four up meaning it's coming out depending on the size of the book block of course uh, just one up that's a little bit would be a very large book but more common are two up three up and four up uh, like you can see in the picture on the top right the three up uh, process uh, it allows still full variable page count but only of course across the web so meaning here every 
book on the bottom or the three books on the bottom have to have the same page count, but the next book on top can have a different page count. And maybe uh, one thing that has to be considered is that these sheet stacks or book blocks basically are being transferred manually into a binder. Michael, you also have such a system installed uh, at the beginning when you started with digital web uh, printing, correct? Yes, it's, it's the same um, um, systems like the signature production and um, it's, 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 in, it's in systems we, we, we have in the past, but it's, um, it's not easy to, 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 um, to uh, finish these blocks in our great machines, our great perfect binders and so on. And so we need a, a, a little systems from Wallenberg. It's, an, it's, it's like a Horizon perfect binder or, or uh, systems or so on. But um, also with these blocks, we are not um, we are not fast enough to 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 build um, um, higher uh, higher copies and so on. Yes. I mean, the cut stack solution is really very flexible in order to do a lot of different type of products uh, that may also be commercial type products or even mailing products. But uh, as you mentioned, there is still some manual labor, of course, involved to move then uh, these uh, book uh, loose leaf uh, book blocks into a perfect binder and there of course mistakes can happen and that's why there are much more automated system like we show here exactly what you have installed uh, today in your uh, environment the Solution that we showcase here basically consists of an unwinder feeding the paper into a continuous feed inkjet press from HP. And we have the possibility basically to print roll to roll or, of course, go inline into the book block manufacturing system consisting of a plow folder, a cutter, and a stacker. This particular system here can basically run roll to roll and at the same time uh, already pre-printed roll can be processed through the second unwinder into the plow folder and produce fully variable uh, book blocks uh, here at the end. The next uh, slide here shows a little bit more how the web is being folded. We call it our plow folding system because we plow fold the web. Uh, we can plow fold, of course, four page signatures, six page signatures, as it is showcased here, or eight page signatures. Then we cut this, uh, the web, the folded web. We apply glue on the spine side uh, along the, the book signature and then we collate the signature in a star wheel delivery into book blocks so these uh, that gluing process is a pattern in the system from Hunkler that really allows to basically produce pre-glued book block uh, in a high quality meaning straight and square book blocks and every book can have a different page count because we make very small signature, usually four, six or eight page signature, the number of empty pages is relatively small compared when you do 12, 16 or 24 page signatures, of course, where you uh, have, of course, often much more empty pages at the end of a book. I would like to bring in a video here uh, an animation how such a book block system works and I hope that will work now to go to the video or play the video.
it, it works fine here, Hans. Here, yep. Mm -hmm. So I will explain as we go. Here we have basically an offline system. The system is basically capable of uh, taking webs in up to 30 inch. You see here a pre-printed web. We also put some numbers that you see can try to figure out the uh, uh, process of the impositioning. We basically apply linear folds along uh, the web go around the first plow folder to make the first fold. Then we go into the second plow fold station. And then we go into the cross cutter basically to cut off these uh, folded web into sheets or into signatures actually, depending on the folding pattern, four, six or eight page signatures. Of course, we can also divert uh, signatures or uh, a book content uh, that has been deemed uh, uh, not uh, the quality that is needed because of a print defect. And then we go with these signatures basically into the star wheel delivery. Here you see the uh, animation of the gluing of the signatures along the spine, a Hunkler patent process to then basically collate these signatures together in the star wheel delivery. Of course, they are uh, guided on the front and on the side to form basically in the stack a perfectly straight and square book block. Once the book block is being created, we push it out and go into a pressing device so that the signatures are basically uh, pressed together so that the glue can set. The advantage of these type of book blocks is, of course, that you don't have loose signatures or loose sheets. You basically have already a collated book block that now can be also fed much easier into binders either automatically or uh, with robot system or conveyor systems directly again into uh, binders i go we go back to the presentation michael of course you have exactly that system installed in your uh, environment. Can you say a little bit more uh, about your experience with it? Um, we learned um, we, we learned a lot about the systems and also the the changes between the signatures and so on. And um, the um, um, from Hangla we get some um, informations and also we get uh, really really uh, strong and long support for um, for the starting. And uh, now we are um, it, it it now we are. Uh, it is possible to 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 get a, a plan to produce uh, the productions uh, roll to roll or web to web and and all near line in line we can change um, each other between uh, different um, um, signatures and also um, do you uh, um, um, sorry um, we can also produce near line uh, in the same in the same production way like like inline when 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 you think you must you must change between inline and near line it's it's um, it's it's too difficult or it's too 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 strange uh, it, it isn't so we, we need some times to get some options and also we need some experience for for rebuild the systems uh, between the um, differ, uh, different signatures and now it is possible to to get an um, 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 production plan uh, with uh, strong and very very fast changes, and um, when we uh, we change the signatures, we uh, we we have other productions uh, for the web to web um, productions, and go to the um, nearline process with the um, sewing machine. Um, also, we need the 
unwinder and rewinder after the uh, press machine for the second line production. And also we want to um, to break the um, the old problems with the um, uh, with the binary systems von Hankela and also with the printing system uh, uh, with, a, with with the breath von HP because we want to produce um, every systems alone and also when we see that it's uh, that it's possible and good for the production time that we go in line uh, we can also go in line uh, in uh, with the production between HP and um, Hangula and also it is very very um, good for us to 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 have the the chance and the choice to 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 go in line and near line productions and have uh, also a good experience to to change the signatures. Yes, I think you mentioned several of the key elements that are important. Uh, one is certainly the learning process and the startup support when a company starts with inkjet, because ink is basically mainly water on paper and all that has its challenges. And of course, doing then inline finishing directly after the press, it requires a certain learning period uh, to master basically the technology. You also mentioned exactly the disadvantage the plow folder has. You need to patch basically your production a bit based on the uh, signature width because the changeover from four up signatures to six page signatures to eight page signatures basically require a stop and a changeover today. Uh, that probably will change in the future, but for that reason, Hunkler also basically has developed uh, a different system uh, to be able to produce a book of one. The layout we see here basically also showcases that we can connect, of course, uh, the plow folder system with an inline perfect binder. Uh, solutions are available from Horizon and Miller Martini. Uh, but the challenge here is, of course, to bring in the cover that matches the book block. So this book block and cover, of course, need to be in the same order in order to uh, make a complete inline system. With the, the DynaCut uh, solution from Hunkler, we are able actually to cut off the the length of the book, the spine length, we can differentiate that from book to book. Uh, this is a unique feature also of a Hunkler cutter we call Dyna Cut. And the cut length is actually embedded in a data matrix code as we see it here on the left. And then like magic, basically, if everything is imposed correctly, we can uh, change basically the spine lengths from the book uh, from one signature to the next and then of course collate the signatures together to a book. You see that quite nicely here. Of course, because the web is has still the same width, you have some additional waste in that book that is being shown here at the bottom. Then Another solution that you also have installed and that we have seen in the video uh, from uh, Michael at Belt's Grafische Betriebe is sewn book blocks for hardcover binding. That solution basically encompasses a Hunkel roll fed solution into a Mechanotechnica Universe web sewing machine. I would also like to bring here a short video that basically is showing or uh, giving an indication how such a system works. And I should be play that video here. Yep, it's coming here. So this is a video 
Daddy Bush and the Red's Big Man. Daddy Man got a Danica together with Hong Color. It's showing basically the printing a print printed web uh, to the unwinder and from the unwinder seat in the red into the color very then cut the web basically into sheets here. Basically, the book block is then uh, being done uh, perfectly straight and square. And from there, of course, then the, these book blocks can go to the next uh, process uh, with NG uh, adding with um, the process, of course, for hardcover binding. I believe, Michael, you use exactly that process as well in your production system, correct? Yes, that's correct. And it's a fine thing because uh, our focus are, uh, are produced book blocks, finished book blocks for, um, for different end solutions with um, hardcover and softcover. And also uh, we... Uh, we don't need any conventional um, um, machines. Also, from Asta in the in the in the sewing uh, sewing machines in the sewing area. Also, we we don't need any uh, folder systems. We can uh, get these. Um, uh, we can get these books or can can take these books book blocks from this area to to um, to bring it in the in the last hall of uh, from from our um, area and make the hardcover and softcover um, um, finished and um, also it's 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 really really nice to get these book blocks out of the uh, both systems also perfect binding book blocks from Hangela and also the sewing book blocks from Asta to to offer new solutions and also new new products and also with the same options like uh, bigger um, copies and bigger um, editions uh, from for our uh, publishers uh, um, customers very nice i actually have just one more slide before we go to the questions that is showing basically a little bit a different solution uh, that Hunkler also offers. It's actually a fully variable book of one solution uh, done with the fly folder. Instead of a plow folder that's basically being installed right after the digital press, here the process works like that, that we basically perforate the web, then we cut the web into sheets for four or six page signatures. And then we fold basically these signatures in the five folder process. And what that allows us to do is that we can produce books with four page signatures and book with six page signatures one book after another non-stop change over meaning we can change basically the, the fold pattern 
and of course the cutoff lengths, the spine lengths from book to book on the fly at 130 meters per minute in line with a press. So this is a solution that has gained a lot of interest and a lot of installations over the last two years for really on-demand book production for online to fulfill online orders because it shortens basically the production time down to a few minutes and customers can deliver their online orders within four or six hours to the end customer. With that, I basically have the last slide showing the installation as it is installed at Belzgravische Betriebe with the plow folder line going near line and in line and the sewing line in the front so for hard cover and soft cover production. With that, we are opening up or I hand it back to you more than four questions. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for a very nice uh, presentation again. Yeah. Um, every time I see uh, Hunkler at work, um, I always, especially when you go to the innovation days, it's always like uh, how, <laughs> because you see uh, you see uh, uh, perfect uh, products, you see uh, high speed, you see a uh, lot of different applications that, of course, around the, the real based uh, uh, production. Uh, and I think that one of the things that that is a, a you and I have spoke about it, Hans, but it's like a huge opportunity for. Uh, for Hunkler with all the focus that is on inkjet right now, right? I mean, uh, more and more people are looking into replacing uh, uh, analog equipment with digital uh, role-based equipment as well. Very much so. I mean, that's clearly where we focus on. So pretty much everything we do is now uh, uh, inkjet uh, finishing. Um, and uh, our big focus for us is in more and more automation that processes are more being connected, are automated to really get to the 4.0, uh, where not only automation counts, but also, of course, the connectivity of the data to basically make systems more productive and also, we have heard that throughout the week before as well, uh, it is harder to get very trained, uh, experienced yeah. people in the graphic arts industry. And one way to overcome that is really that we as supplier and manufacturer make our system more automated or even fully automated for setup, for changeover and so on to make it easier to run and being more productive at the end mm. of the day. In, uh, in, uh, in the first uh, session we had Wednesday, that was with uh, uh, Mark Freitag from Livonia Press in uh, print in uh, Latvia. And um, uh, he, um, he was actually advocating for sheet-based production rather than role-based production because he said it gave him uh, a, um, a large diversity, especially when, when it comes to the, to the media. Uh, but I take that. Uh, because I saw also that you have uh, some automatic machines for actually uh, combining wheels into production. And, and I think that is an obstacle that you are totally aware of and trying to make it solutions for how to, to make a real based uh, uh, finishing as easy as, uh, as um, uh, sheet based finishing. Isn't that right, Hans? Yes. Uh... Of course, I mean, cut sheet <laughs> printers and cut sheet inkjet printers have, of course, their advantages for shorter runs for a little bit lower volume, but they have the big advantage, of course, that they are very flexible on media because you can have eight different input trays and so on. Yeah. And then, and that's why Hunkler is also investing heavily in our next line of products on cut sheet finishing, our oh, sure. mm -hmm. uh, sheet finishing modules for book and commercial print application that can be and really are connected to such cut sheet printers. Mm -hmm. However, we still see big opportunities in further automate the role changing process that for book production in the future, you will be able to switch between two different media fully automatically 
so here I think I don't tell too much to already give you a little bit of hint you, for innovation. You can tell too much, Hans, here. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's like everybody in this industry right now. The market is just going in just all these different directions. And it just seems like you, the company, though, that are, I mean, you know, you've got a, such a wide range of products. And the one thing I always find about Hunko is it looks so easy and it makes you always make everything look so simple. It's like you're working there and there's this precision that just it just works and it just goes, as Morton said. Um, but I think, you know, as you were saying with Inkjet, it's just driving so many new things and applications and it's almost there's lots of unknowns still coming up. But it just appears that Hunkler are always looking at where to and where do we go next and where the opportunities are. Hmm. Certainly we will feel that's very important, but at the end it's still up to the customer what they make out of it. I think we had that heard also throughout different sessions these weeks, because almost anybody can buy the equipment, but yeah. then to make the to differentiate for a printer or publisher themselves, their ideas are really uh, that come into play there and that's why we love to interact with customers as we do here today to get also feedback to innovate our solutions for new things and make them better for the future i said in the previous session with horizon that i think i'm an inkjet worship i love inkjet but i do think in so many occasions people should be knocking on your door first to get out this is what I want to do. And from there, work back and then find the press at the end, you know, so you could advise them on the press instead of them <laughs> advising them. <laughs> we love to do that. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Uh, we have to uh, almost get uh, finished with this one. We have the next session is with uh, Adrian and a few people from his team from Müller Martini. That will be exciting too. Uh, just on the on the edge of here, before we end, uh, first of all, I want to thank you both. But we have a question from your good friend, Bob Flynn. Uh, and he's asking, are you using robotics or other automation for feeding the back the book blocks to the binding and or case? system i think that's for you michael <laughs> yeah, that's for me yes uh no uh, we 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 have um difficult hordes in in our production location and also when we when we get a plan or when we get an idea for production we also plan for digital printing and also the digital finished book blocks and go to uh, different systems it's not only one system it's not only um one uh, uh, one systems for one uh, for for one copy or order order time. We have um, uh, a little quick uh, quick, uh, quick binder. We have also um, a colibri from Müller Martini and also uh, two two perfect binders. We have no robotics and so on for um, for 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 um, feeding taking the out the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to another place. Uh, that, that's that's also um, uh, the fact that we need finished book block that uh, we can take this and throw in into the next machine yeah we 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 we, we have some we have some um, problems in the path that we had loose leaf uh, uh, or, or loose sheets and when we throw it uh, all come, uh, come away and and all blow away and and now we have finished book blocks and uh, throw it uh, in the next system also we have three or four systems we can uh, we can finish our book blocks and I know one thing for sure, you gentlemen can talk forever, but now I stop it. I have yep. to get on to the next session. Uh, both of you, uh, thank you very much for your time here. It was uh, very educational as usual. And I look forward to see uh, either of you in the nearby future in, in person. So uh, thank you for your time here. And uh, for the audience, please go to the Müller Martini session. I think that uh, will be interesting too. Thank you, Hans. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.